Hey there, I have some really exciting news to share with you in this video today. We finally have an SEO plugin tool for Squarespace, something that our longtime Squarespace users have been wanting. And thanks to Henry Purchase and the folks at SEO Space, we finally have one. And I'm going to show you all the details about it right here in this video. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Meg. I'm a yoga and meditation teacher turned Squarespace web designer. And I'm here to help you elevate your website and your business without the tech overwhelm. So let's get into it. SEO has always been a complicated, mysterious thing for everyone. Whether you're a professional or a beginner, it can be a little overwhelming and confusing. The SEO space folks have now created a plugin that you can run on any Squarespace website and get some instant, actionable, easy to follow feedback about SEO optimization for your website. And not just talking about keywords. It's not all about keywords. There's so many other things to think about. Image size, meta descriptions, titles, structure. It can get overwhelming, but they've simplified it. And within minutes, you're going to have results that you can take action on and have all the information you need to increase your SEO optimization on your website. And this is a really new tool. At the time of this recording, it's probably only been out a few months. I've been testing it out on my own website. I'm really impressed. And they also have a ton of helpful resources and they're constantly releasing updates and new features. So it just keeps getting better and better with time. So I'm going to show you how this works. But before we do, make sure you go down my description and grab my link. You're going to want to check out this tool. You can check it out for free and you won't be sorry. So let's drive in, shall we? Okay, so let's take a look at this cool plugin. So I'm going to run a scan on an old website of mine with some old blog posts um, that I created way before I knew what I was doing or had any kind of clue whatsoever. So um, being vulnerable today and showing you some of my not so great work, just so you can kind of see how great this plugin is and what kind of great information you can get from it. So here I am on my balanced breathing exercise blog post that I wrote quite a while ago. And if you'll notice down here, this is the plugin and I'm going to click on that to open it up and it's just going to load and what you'll see here it's going to tell you how many of your monthly scans are available and give you these options so I have the option to run a basic scan or a premium scan and that's because I have a paid plan so since I'm on a paid plan I can run a premium scan but even on the free plan you can always run a basic scan so I'm just going to click the premium scan just so I can show you what you get with that if you decide to go with a paid plan at some point after testing out the free version. What it's going to ask me here is, well, what do I want my keyword to be that I want to rank for? And I'm going to say balanced breathing exercise. And I want that global because I want the whole world to know about this wonderful breathing exercise. And I'm going to click run my scan. And you'll see as it's progressing through each of its checks, it's kind of giving you this interactive scale. You can see real time what's going on. And we see I'm showing up in the red, so that's not great. <laughs> so it's just gonna check away, going through each of its operations. And boom, we're done. That was less than a minute before I got results. So I'm in the red, 22%. Not so great. Again, not surprised since this is a very old, not optimized blog post, but hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm talking about here. So we'll start off with results here. These basic suggestions, these are what you get in the, the basic scan. And every single thing has an info button. So it tells you exactly what's in that section and it has a link to a tutorial for you. So you're already ahead of the game with great resources that you don't have to go searching for if you wanna figure out how to deal with some things. So first up here shows links. So we'll click on the down arrow. I got red here, so that's not great. And it's telling me I've got two links here that are highlighted that are broken. If I click on that, it's gonna take me down to where it is. So it's gonna highlight that link. And this is where I just had given some photo credit. So this link no longer works. It's up to you to determine whether that's important to fix it or not. But in general, it's gonna highlight any broken links. So this is really helpful. See, the next scan it ran was 
These links are not set to open in a new tab. So I've got some links to some other blog posts internally, and I've even got one to squarespace.com in my footer. And basically best practice is to help your SEO is that if you have any external links um, in your website, that you want to set those external links to open in a new tab. And the reason is, is that it will open that content on a new tab and it won't take people away from your website and your page and therefore taking your SEO with it. It highlights all the ones that I want to be able to fix and you click on them and it'll take you right there so you don't even have to go hunting for them. Next up, we, we got a green security. So this just knows that I've got an SSL installed and it's secure. So great check there. And now we'll run down into the premium suggestions. So this is where it's looking at my keyword. I can change the keyword if I want, but let's see how it'll look over here. Let's see my content. Let's see the placement, the variation, all of that stuff. Again, more helpful tutorials. So let's see what we've got here. The first scan is that it uses my primary keyword in the first 100 words of my body content. So the content below my title, I didn't do that. So that's helpful. I can go back and adjust that. My primary keyword is not in any subheading of my content. So again, this is when you learn about how to structure things and how to create your content that you want to have that structure there. So I need to go back and adjust that. And I have used my primary keyword zero times in my body content. So interesting. Again, really helpful information that I can easily go back and edit this blog post to make these suggestions and hopefully improve my ranking. And see the URL. Oh, my mouse is being a jerk. Here we go. There we go. So my URL word count is three. Try to make it between four and six. So that's what's referring to. If you look up here, my actual slug is balanced breathing exercise. So it's three words, you know, better if I can get four to six. Not the end of the world, but a good tip. And my primary, primary keyword is in my URL. So I got, a, I got a green check for that. So cool. Now let's move down to the next one, which is images. Now, quick note here for images. If you have just the free plan or you're just running a basic scan, uh, information about your images will be returned in the basic scan. It just won't have any keyword related information. It'll be mostly about just alt text and the size of your images. First thing here is it's adding my primary keyword and at least one images alt tag or alt text on this page. So what I should do is like go to my page here and say, you know, woman practicing balanced breathing exercise might be a better alt text. So I got a green check. I do have alt text. I just need to make it better and three oversized image. So it checks to see that if your images are too big. So generally for in on page content, aside from banners, you're looking at things wanting to be less than 250 kilobytes whenever you can. So I got a green check it means my images are not too big here on this post. Moving down to my meta description. So my meta description doesn't gain my keyword. So I should be taking a look at that. If I don't like my uh, meta description, I can click generate with AI. So you're there connected to like a chat GPT so you can get some suggestions for a meta description. I would note one little piece of caution here. This is a great starting point. You can get a lot of great ideas, um, copy them, paste them off onto your clipboard or, you know, you know, a working document and then wordsmith them and then edit them a little bit. I wouldn't necessarily just straight copy and paste whatever comes up here into your meta description. Um, one, not a good idea to do that because you don't really know what you're getting. But also I think generally as you kind of go through these, the um, the language sometimes with the, the chat GPT stuff is, I don't know, to me it's sometimes a little bit salesy or impersonal or, you know, it just doesn't grab me, to be honest with you. So you always want to make sure that you are, are doing a little bit of due diligence and not just blindly copying and pasting. So that is my spiel. Moving on. Do I have a meta description? Green check. Yes, I do. And finally, what's the length of my meta description? So this is great. My meta description is between 150 and 160 characters, which means it's going to show up well in the search page. It's not going to be a lot of it's going to be cut off because it's longer and it's not too short. So if this were to not have met those criteria, it would give me more information here on that. Okay, moving along, headings H1. So again, we're talking about the top of my page here, my title, my H1. 
and it's saying it's 71 characters. Ideally, it should be between 50 and 60, so it doesn't get truncated. But again, you know, you don't have to be literal about everything if the majority of, you know, if I get my balanced breathing exercise in my first 50 or 60, I'm gonna be happy with that. You do have to use some judgment here, but this is just giving you a heads up. I have an H1, which is excellent. My primary keyword is in my H1, and my word count for my H1 is, is good. My keyword is between five and 12 words long. So yay, I did pretty well. I only, I got three out of four on that one, so good for me. Competition, so this kind of gives you, instead of a pass or fail, it gives you like kind of a metal count, like so it looks like I'm in second place, silver. So it's a fairly competitive keyword, but you can follow some of their best practices, watch tutorials, and up my chances of ranking for them. So you guess you can get like, you know, gold, silver, bronze here. Suggested keywords, another nice feature, can give you some other suggested keywords that you might want to use or sprinkle throughout your content. So that's helpful and, and good information there. My keyword volume, getting a green check there. The overall word count, so I have over a thousand words in this in this post and gives me some helpful tips of what to look at there. And then I got an okay on my keyword cannibalization. So I don't have any of that, which is good. And basically what that means, if you have information here, is when you have two or more pages ranking for the same keyword and you may cannibalize that and not rank for it at all. So again, they can, they'll give you tutorials here on everything. So that in a nutshell is how quick and easy it is to get a pretty comprehensive uh, scan of any page on your website. And particularly if you're a blogger, this will be really helpful on the premium side with the keywords, but you can do these keyword searches and scans on any page of your website. So it doesn't have to necessarily be a blog post. It could be your services page, your about page, your home page, and it will give you feedback on whether or not you have good use of the keywords you wanna be found for there too. Less than a minute, ran the scan, got this report. I now have understandable, easy action items I can take on this blog post to make it so much better and have a better chance of ranking and improve my SEO on it. So that's it for how to run the scan. Uh, quick note here too is that you, when you do set up a SEO space um, plugin account, you're not just limited to having this account, Russ, rather this plugin right here. What you will have is once you create an account and log in here, you'll have a dashboard. And so you'll be able to go into log in here and go into your dashboard under your account and you'll see a history of your scans. And as you make changes and rescan a page, you will then see the progress and the improvement and get all that detailed information. So that's super helpful and something to keep in mind. So isn't that incredible? I mean, literally in less than a minute, we had results and information that we could take action on and even though I was a little bit embarrassed to share my old and very out of date and not optimized blog post. I hope that it helped you see how much great information you can get that you can take action on. It's easily understood and they do a great job of explaining things. They lead you to tons of resources if you need them. But SEO optimization doesn't have to be a scary, uh, crazy technology thing that you have to worry about anymore. They make it simple, they make it accessible and anybody can do this. It's gonna be helpful whether you're a beginner or a pro. So be sure to grab that link in the description and try it out. See what you think. And please leave me a comment. I would love to know what your experience is, you know, good, bad, or indifferent. Let me know what you think of it. And if you found this helpful, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you're as excited about this new plugin as I am. Take care and I'll see you next time.